Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to Digital Dialogue. I'm Terry Fallis, and I'm told I'm your MC for today. I'm happy to be here. I almost feel like I, I'm at home uh, because I've been a content creator myself and across different platforms, been a podcaster since 2006, been a blogger since 2007, uh, co-founded a media relations, PR, communications, digital, web, uh, social media agency uh, in uh, 1995. And were I not up here emceeing, I would probably sitting be sitting where you are uh, enjoying this day. So we're delighted that you could join us for the conference. We're all really pleased to see such an amazing cross-section of participants spanning the spectrum of technology and content creating industries. As you probably know, the goal for today is to share ideas and to look at examples of success in the digital world, and I'm looking forward to a day of stimulating discussion, and I encourage you to be as active as you can be along the way. And to help you engage, we've designed this to be a very interactive program. We're all participating in the same session, so we'll all hear the same insights. And for those of you who like to multitask, and I know you're out there, we encourage you to tweet about the conference. The hashtag is uh, hashtag OMDCDD2012. You can see it on the screens, I think. Uh, and we're going to allow lots of time for Q&As after each panel discussion, so keep those tweets and, and questions coming. We're going to jump right into the proceedings in just a moment, but there are a few other housekeeping items to cover. Although we're very happy for you to use your phones and your Blackberries to tweet, please set them on vibrate or even silent. All activities today will take place in this room and the one next door, so you won't need to wander too far. You'll find the washrooms at either end of the hallway outside this room. I should also mention that we are filming the conference today, and we'll be posting it on YouTube. And uh, judging on, by the, the agenda and the people attending, this might go viral, so be ready for that. Today's conference is organized by the Ontario Media Development Corporation, which is probably well known to most of you in the room. So I'll dispense with a detailed introduction of the agency and simply say that it's my pleasure now to introduce Karen Thorne Stone, President and CEO of OMDC, to come up and uh, say a few words. Welcome, Karen. Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you for getting up and joining us so early in the morning. I know this is asking a lot of some of our content-creating friends uh, who, whose companies don't necessarily start work this early in the morning. Um, and I think the, the crowd will probably double in size by the time we get to, to lunch today. But thank you all for joining us. And, and on behalf of the, the board and the staff at OMDC, it's certainly my pleasure to join Terry in welcoming you to our annual Digital Dialogue Conference. I think, um, as Terry was saying, today promises to be a day of learning, of networking, and, and collaboration as we talk together about some of the keys to success in the digital world. And I certainly hope that you will seize the opportunity to engage, to share your ideas, and to meet some interesting new people over the course of the day. Uh, before we get started, I would like to take a moment to thank a few people. Um, starting, of course, with, with uh, Terry Fallis, our, our MC for the day. Most of you, obviously, will recognize Terry as the author of the uh, best-selling book, Best Laid Plans and The High Road. Woohoo! <laughs> um, but aside also from his, his achievements as an author, Terry brings with him a great deal of experience about how to succeed in the digital world. I think he's given you uh, some hints of that already. His first novel was originally published as a podcast uh, in podcast format and then later went on to receive the 2008 Stephen Leacock Award for Humor and it won the 2011 Canada Reads Contest. Not bad. Um, he's also written uh, on how the online universe has changed the way we read, the way we write, and, and interact with books. So thank you, Terry, for being so generous with your time, for joining us today. We're looking forward to your, your wit and your wisdom <laughs> as you lead us through the day. I'd also like to thank our keynote speaker, Chuck Underwood, who you're going to hear from uh, in just a few minutes, and all of our moderators and panelists for your incredible generosity in terms of, of sharing your time and your expertise uh, with all of us today. They're a truly impressive group, and, and I, I uh, think we're going to have some very interesting conversations. 
Finally, I'd like to thank PricewaterhouseCoopers, PwC, for their uh, generous sponsorship of today's conference. You'll get to hear from Tracy Jennings at the wrap-up portion of our day today, but I, I wanted to take the, the chance to say thank you to Tracy and to PwC. Uh, they've been a terrific partner for OMDC in terms of helping us get events like this one off the ground um, and making it happen for all of us. And also thank you to Adobe, uh, who are your lunch sponsors uh, today, and you'll hear a little bit more about that at lunchtime. I suspect that uh, th the fact that you're in the room today means you probably already are familiar with OMDC, but a tiny little refresher. We're a provincial agency. We are responsible for stimulating jobs and investment uh, in the cultural media industries, which of course we define as publishing, book and magazine publishing, film and television, music and interactive digital media. And we do that through a variety of programs and services and organizing events like this one. And we really couldn't do that um, without incredible support from our provincial government. So I'm pleased to, uh, and it seems quite fitting actually, that I have the opportunity to uh, introduce the Honourable Michael Chan, our, our Minister of um, Tourism, Culture and Sport now, uh, to come and say a few words to you this morning. Um, I'm going to dispense with the official CV. I think you've all sort of uh, met Minister Chan many times before and, and you've heard the official introduction, but I did want to just say thank you. Um, he's been a fabulous champion for OMDC, a uh, real enthusiast for the, the sectors that we support and the, the work that, that you folks do, and I can't understate uh, the importance of the support of our minister and our ministry in ensuring that OMDC has the necessary resources to be able to provide the programs and services that uh, we do, and we're very grateful to have him here today. We're very grateful that he was reappointed as our, our minister, and now our minister of, uh, we've now added sport to the portfolio, so please join me in welcoming the Honourable Michael Chan. Thank you, thank you, Karen. Thank you very much for your very, very kind introduction. You know, I, uh, good morning and good early morning. I had the same feeling as Karen, you know, look, uh, this is a really early morning and it really gives me the impression that the creative cluster people, they do not sleep. <laughs> That's why you're here today. Uh, well, uh, after my remark, I, I do have to leave. I apologize for that because uh, it's uh, a big event coming up, you know, the Pan Am and some uh, announcement, which is quite big, and I have to hustle myself over there. So I apologize for that, especially to my keynote speaker that I, uh, I will not be able to, to stay here and talking to you about this generation, you know, really something that I really want to, want to catch. So uh, I'm going to... Uh, Maybe uh, go to the YouTube or other means to, to, uh, to recover. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And on behalf of the Premier, Dr. McKinty, and the Governor of Ontario, I want to bring you warmest greetings and Happy New Year. I want to thank the Ontario Media Development Corporation for organizing today's event. And uh, Karen and, of course, uh, uh, Kevin, you know, uh, this, this partnership, this perfect match that I think you too have been doing a wonderful, fantastic job uh, uh, helping the government to serve the, uh, the community, the customer community. So thank you so very much for that. Our government is proud to partner with this creative industry for OMDC in providing critical support for the development and growth of film, television, interactive digital media production, music recording, and book and magazine publishing. In 2010, I had the pleasure of participating in this great conference, and I'm honored to join you again to discuss success in the digital world. Success can be achieved through creating new opportunities, confronting the challenges of a highly competitive global market, the Digital Dialogue Conference is an opportunity to enhance the connections, strengthening languages within the entertainment and creative sector, a sector that supports 300,000 jobs, generating over 12.4 billion to our economy. It is also a sector that demonstrates regrowth. Since 2003, Creative industry employment increased by 15% versus 
representing 39,000 jobs. In 2010 alone, digital media projects supported by the province generate $175 million in production and development activities, twice as much as the year before. Our government knows that we can build a competitive creative sector by transforming creativity into content, by driving innovation and advanced technologies, and by creating jobs, generating economic growth. Home to the third largest entertainment and creative sector in North America, Ontario is firmly on the map as an international creative capital. This gives us a tremendous competitive advantage in the global economy, an advantage we must embrace and enhance in this ever-expanding media market. A market by 2015 is projected to worth $1.9 trillion. As our world becomes increasingly interconnected and our landscape continues to change into global village, we find ourselves in competition with new and emerging markets like Brazil, China, India, and others. So in order to, for Ontario to stay ahead of the game, we must take decisive steps through hard work, through partnerships, and through collaboration, so that Ontario will move forward as a leader in this digital age, in a time of unprecedented change, not just in Ontario, not just in Canada, but around the world. Creative technologies continue to evolve, dramatically transforming how we conduct business, communicate and connect. Our government, the McKinsey government, recognizes the value in cultivating a vibrant creative economy. And through the entertainment and creative cluster partnership fund, we are able to enhance cooperation between creative partners and the public sector, build long-term partnership while offset risks for small businesses and facilitate long-term growth. Our support has strengthened strategic partnerships and will continue to promote capacity building, marketing, innovation, and skills development. Since the fund was established in 2006, our government has provided $12.7 million to support 79 projects involving 487 partners. Today, I'm pleased to announce that the Partnership Fund jury have approved an additional 15 projects for funding. I think that's on the screen over there. And congratulations to all successful recipients. These selected projects demonstrate innovative content creation and new ideas for commercialization, ensuring Ontario plays as a front runner, not only for today's creative economy, but for tomorrow's. As I look around the hall this morning, I see pioneers, I see leaders of industry, I see visionary artists. Together, let's continue to save the creativity of our thinkers into great content. Let's make sure we reach the consumer here and abroad. Let's continue to communicate, collaborate, and connect. Together, we will ensure Ontario's success story in the digital world remain a beautiful, fantastic success story. Thank you for having me and enjoy the conference. Thank you, Minister Chan. We're grateful that you could be with us today. Uh, in an earlier life, I worked on political staff of the finance minister in a much earlier uh, liberal government at Queen's Park, the Peterson government. So I know what cabinet ministers' schedules are like and what their days are like. So it's great that you could have been here with us today to, uh, and show us that OMDC uh, has such a strong supporter in you. It's also great to hear about the latest round of partnership fund grants. I know we'll all be watching those projects progress in the year ahead. So, Minister, thank you for coming. <laughs>